pharmaceuticals. Well, get out, get out. It's your boy, it's your boy. Different. What up, you guys? Well, well, well. It's your boy Jeffrey, aka Mr. Lockdown, aka Mr. Mississippi Boy himself. To my lovely lefty. It's Mrs. Lockdown. What up, you guys? You know, I ain't introducing the cat. Not gonna do it. It's my boy! Not gonna introduce the With scars. <coughs> If y'all mm. haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, become part of the Lockdown fam. And then if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it across your, all your social media platforms. An original link for this video will be down in the description below. Why is T-Mac, a.k.a. Tom McDonald, wrote a song about scars? We have so many. I ain't even watched this you video. Just, you just recently got some more scars. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> we, Reminding me of something I don't want to remind myself. Ooh. Boy, we some battling boys and girls. Let me have that phone over there right quick. I want to turn the volume down. Just in case. Just in case. I know how my, <laughs> I know how my folks are here. My folks are awake. Well, mine called 530 this morning. Mm. They'll, call, mm. they'll call me in a minute. <laughs> <coughs> Don't remember how I got all these scars, but I know I lived a hell of a life. I can't remember how I made it this far, but I know it was a hell of a fight. That's mm. fact. That's fact. Two line. Two. That's what he be doing. He come out with the punches with the two peaks right off the bat. Pop out. I don't know how the hell I got these scars, but I know I put up a hell of a fight. I don't know how I got these scars, but I know I live a hell of a life. Bruh. You gotta Is he talking to you, baby? Who? Who? Man, Tom always talking. The real artists, is the real, the, the one that use life as a as a writing tool, they talk to me. The mother ones. Fantasy world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Disney world. But I know it was a hell of a fight. Could have been some bones in the coffin stone. Drinking vodka locked up with the bros. Causing problems broke at the bottom. You know that I got a lot of marks under these clothes. Should have killed me somehow. I survived. These tattoos. Say his take twos <coughs> is the view that you don't see up under what's really going on. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we up, have to protect ourselves. Covering up them scars that really be going on. Yeah. Sometimes we just have to protect ourselves because everybody ain't full. Oh. I mean, Ooh. they 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 do more stabbing and punching. <laughs> and then they be the one that you think they ride or die with you, or the one that stabbing and punching. Trying to find something for you to downfall. Don't remember how I ended up here, but I know I probably should have died. Mm. Uh -huh. I don't remember why I cried all those tears, but I know that I turned out all right. Hey! Now he looking back at his wrestling pictures. When he was going for pro wrestling stuff, you know that hey. Being a wrestler, everybody holler about his fate. You take one of them dumps on your forehead or body or a spine buster, something they gonna man, that shit really hurts. But I mean, even in and even in general, is that you know, a lot of for the ones that had a rough life coming up. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then now they're in a profession or doing whatever they're doing that. That life ain't like it used to be. Mm -mm. So they, he reflecting on what it could have been. But thank you. I, I cried all those tears, but I know that I turned out all right. I know.
know that people wanted me dead I lost all my friends, was running from the cops Getting red, was dark in my head You know that I have seen a lot of things in all of my years But I'm thankful for this crazy life Hey! Hey, you heard what he said He didn't run from the cops Half of his friends then left him because they wanted him dead. Hmm. See that, that that's that's the harshest thing when they so call your friends. You ain't doing the same thing they doing. Hmm. Right now, I have friends right now. I love them to death. They be mad, mad. I love them to death, but I can't be around them. I got friends that love to go shoot pool. I can't be around them. I mean, as we get older, things things evolve, and you have to learn how to evolve with your with your life. And and, and if and if they don't fit in that category, it ain't that you don't love them. It's just that y'all got to meet on y'all got to meet on a new some else. Yeah. A lot of things in all of my years, but I'm thankful for this crazy life. Every single scar and every single scrape Every bruise and tattoo along the way Tells a little story that I can't explain Because the words escape me but the marks remain They want no. to fade and they can't be erased They made me who I am and I am not ashamed Every bump and scratch and every drop of blood Prove how far I've came These tattoos On my arm Hide from you All the scars These tattoos <laughs> I done had some scars more longer than I had any of my friends. Yeah. That's facts. I ain't gonna even go into crashing cars. Yeah, you 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 had <coughs> 18 wheels instead of four. <laughs> no, I had cars too. <laughs> well Your white car went into a field. I fell asleep. Oh uh, yeah. All four tires went flat and I still made it home. Yeah. With a scar on me. You've been blessed, baby. Oh, yeah. Most of my friends crashed a couple cars, put some stitches in my legs. Looked up at the stars, and all I can say is thanks. Recovery mm. was hard, but it made me who I am. Sad. All these ugly battle scars complete me. They're reminders of the demons who tried their best to defeat me. They don't look so good in photos, but my struggles ain't beneath me. And these tattoos ain't for nothing. This is physical graffiti. Every broken. Yep. He talking. He talking life. <coughs> I don't have a tattoo. I don't have a tattoo. Old man told me back in the day, you know who you are. You ain't got to mark up your body. Tattoos ain't for everybody. Right. But I give it to <coughs> the people who do do tattoos because they make them personal. They just don't throw no anything on their body. They make it personal. It gives them a memory. It gives them something they 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 notice by. Right. They don't go out there and just say, "Oh man, that's a cool tattoo. I want one too." No, no, no. Yeah, I like. I, I uh, I'm gonna just say on one one particular part is that <clears throat> our cousin Mika, you know, her mom passed away, <clears throat> and to remember her mom, she had she got butterflies on her feet. On yeah, on her feet because. We used to call our cousin Lady Butterfly. So that, that was a truck animal. Yeah. So therefore, you know, <clears throat> that was a personal thing for her. But in reference to you, you don't have the tattoo, but you have the battle wounds. Mm -hmm. I said the battle wounds. So we understand exactly what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Real talk. Bone, all the sticks and stones and the moments when I felt so alone Every single tear and like a million beers that I only drank so I could try to cope Every bloody nose and all the muddy clothes when I was in the dirt Down inside a hole, every single scuff and every single scab made me who I am These tattoos Oh!
Big shout out, Nova Rockefeller. Man, we'll leave that right there. Big shout out to Nova for doing that. If Nova be doing some hella five video. I love their creativity. Oh, they tag team for I real. Love. And they, and they melt. They they gel. <laughs> they gel. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but I see, love it. I like this video because he's talking personal. Oh yeah. See, he's talking to me like he he been in my life. <clears throat> yeah, now Matt, some people Matt ain't gonna. On it. <clears throat> excuse me for coughing. Some people ain't gonna like it because you know he ain't, he ain't doing the poli <laughs> yeah the politician yeah. thing. That, mm. But sometimes you just need a break. Just the universe. With, yeah, you got to come with some. That you talk to people, people can understand. Yeah, just be universal. That's why I love about Tom. Tom can come at you either way possible, but you really don't want the, the anger of Tom. I promise you. Yeah, we uh, there's one thing I'm saying about uh, Matt. Matt, you you inspire a lot of people, and even uh, we we hadn't even mentioned your name, and we was bowling. Uh, me and my sons on a bowling league. And one of the guys that drill our balls, we was telling him about our YouTube channel. He said, okay, I'm going to go check you out. And so he did. And you was one of the artists that, that he gravitated to. And he said that you was awesome. And he like, I can resonate with him. I like him. Exactly. Yeah. That man watches. He be at work watching. Dog, <laughs> but we ain't going to tell you where he no. went. We ain't going to get this man. No. Nah. But, um, but like I said, Matt, you always do justice with your music. We're so proud of you on the on the um journey that you're on and the 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 family that you have gained. And we're part of that. For we're really? proud of that. Hey, but like we said, Mississippi, one up, one down, Mississippi on lockdown. Peace. Peace. Hangover, gang, gang, gang. You know what it is. <laughs> <laughs>